Hey, Facebook. How's everybody tonight? It's raining here, but it's so nice. Like, it, it cooled it down. It's so humid. That's one thing I haven't really gotten used to. I thought I'd pop on here and just say, hey, Ken's not home yet. Um, we're just hanging out. I actually just got off the phone with a potential new customer of mine, and she found me on YouTube, and I I don't think that I'm anybody special or anything like that. Like, I'm just a person. And this last week, because everybody knows, I think everybody knows what it is, it was the anniversary of Shanann and the girls and Nico's death in I always, every year, it's been six years, and every year I have so many people reach out throughout the year, on the day, everything like that, and where it can be very overwhelming sometimes, I forget what my piece in that was, and what I did and I have a lot of people tell me that I'm a hero and if it wasn't for me the case wouldn't have been solved so quickly and all of these things and quite trivially I was just a friend but I was having this conversation with this potential new customer of mine and she found me on YouTube and I think the reason I continue to share and put myself out there is because I never know who I'm going to touch or something I might say might help them and that goes for anybody like literally you could be in the grocery store and smile at somebody and you don't know how much that smile is going to change their whole day like you have no idea what someone else is going through and I have learned over the years that you can empathize and you can sympathize and you can say you understand but truly you never know what someone else is going through because you're not them like it doesn't matter if how many similarities there are in a situation or anything like that it's kind of like my cancer journey I finally after three years have some very good friends that I can talk to about it we can share our war stories our chemo treatments our radiation but quite frankly if you haven't been through it you don't know like you just you just don't know I'm completely fine Brittany I, I'm, I'm better than fine I'm not gonna lie I'll be honest I might have had a little bit to drink tonight but you know it's Friday so there's that. Um, but my point behind like me coming live and like talking to you all is that like you don't know and we live in such a hateful world like by no means am I perfect because I'm totally not. I tell people to have the day they deserve on the daily <laughs> because some people are just assholes and that's what they deserve. Um, sorry. I get distracted. I digress. <laughs> it's like a squirrel. I see, I see, um, I need to like swipe the comments and answer them later because I start reading as I'm talking and, the, and then I get sidetracked. So there's that. Um, but we really don't know how much we affect people every single day. And like, I've learned that with my children. I can say this and my older two, Nicholas and Juliana can attest to this. I probably apologize them for the, to them way too much <laughs> for the mom that I was to them because it is completely night and day different than the mom that I am to Madison and Jackson because I'm older like I was so young when I had them I was 20 and 25 actually I had this conversation with somebody earlier this week I was 20 for Nicholas, 25 with Jilly, 
when I had Madison, I was 34. That's a 10 years difference. I was older. I was wiser. In some instances, in some instances, I'm still learning. We all are, aren't we? Um, but, like, you just, you never know how you're going to affect somebody. And it starts with your kids. I have so much childhood trauma that it's unbelievable. Like, if you go back and unpack it, it's insane. Like, it's completely insane. And I'm not blaming my parents because I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I wouldn't have gone through the things that I've gone through. However, I'm so happy that I'm a different mom to my kids than my mom and my dad were to me. And I, I love my father and I, I love my mother because she gave me life. But I definitely have some clearly emotions and some resentment around it. Um, 21, 24, 32, 35. Dana, aren't, isn't it funny how like completely different you are versus your 21-year-old versus your 35-year-old? I guess night and day different. Um... But, like, if you don't know how you affect other people, so I was having this conversation, I'm scrambling, and I'm sorry, or I'm squirreling, um, but I was having this conversation with this potential customer, because she reached out to me about Thrive, and she somehow stumbled upon me on And she's a domestic violence survivor, and so am I. Um, and she was telling me how much I helped her, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, all I did was share my journey of different things. And I told her if I can help one person with their mental health, if they're going through breast cancer, if they've been in some sort of situation similar, because they're not the same, I'm completely fine, Rhonda. I'm just being emotional because I, I drink a bottle of wine and my husband's not home yet. I'm fine. But if I can help one person feel better in their situation or about what they're going through, then I feel like I've succeeded in life. I truly do. I've had women reach out to me because they have went and got their checkups, like their mammograms, and they've put it off. I've had women reach out to me because they got out of a domestic violence situation and they were in it. I've had so many people reach out. So, there's two things that are going to come from this. One, I want to say thank you to everybody that has reached out, has said things, has told me that I have helped them in some way, shape, or form. And also, be kind. Like, just be kind. We live in such a mean, hateful world as it is. And it's not getting any better. It's actually getting worse. Just, just be kind. Because you never know what your smile or your hi or your good morning can do for someone else that's having a really, really shitty day. And I'm not having a shitty day. I'm actually doing really good. I'm starting to adjust to Tennessee. <laughs> I've made some friends. I'm getting out of the house. The kids have made some friends. They were excited to start school this year. Um, things are going pretty decent. Like, I can't complain. If I did, who would listen? Well, you guys, because, you know, some of you just listen to me all the time. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Clearly, this is a sign. Nikki should not go live when she's been drinking wine. <laughs> However, I'm an Aldi fan now. I did not have... Yes, I moved. We moved from Colorado to Tennessee. Um, I didn't have Aldi. This is a side topic. We didn't have Aldi in Colorado, and I heard all of these friends and people that I know talk about Aldi. I didn't know, like, the, the thing of Aldi. If you're not an Aldi fan, I'm sorry, but, like, I'm obsessed with it. 
the groceries are cheaper. They have better produce, I feel like, at least in my area. I don't know if this is true in all areas. Their wine selection is pristine. <laughs> I'm not a big drinker, but, you know, when I drink, I drink a whole bottle. <laughs> There's that. Um, but I was in there a couple days ago with a friend that I made out here. And they had strawberry wine and that is why I drink the whole bottle because it tastes like strawberry juice like it didn't even taste like wine and I am not a wine drinker I am a wine or I'm not a wine sipper I'm a wine chugger because I have tried like as you get older and I don't know if this is just me or other brother other people can relate to this um sorry somebody said something about Tennessee where they were at whoever said they're from Chattanooga Tasha I'm only like two hours from you yeah, I'm, I'm in Eastern Tennessee, Northeastern Tennessee in the Tri-City area. Anyways, um, so I got strawberry wine and it's dangerous. It's very much dangerous. My husband got a new job. That's why we moved. He wasn't even looking. It just happened. Like it fell into our laps and it was an opportunity we couldn't refuse for him and for us. So we moved after 42 years. So we've been here. Uh, he's been here since October. Me and the kids have been here since September. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm reading comments now. I get distracted and Bella's jealous. My doggie is jealous and wants to come outside with me because I'm sitting outside on the patio. It's humid as fuck. Tennessee is humid as fuck. Sorry for the language. Colorado does not have humidity. It's a dry heat in Colorado. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where Bella's like thing is on her collar. Just to hook her up so she can come outside. Um, Colorado is a dry heat. I think the humidity here this morning was like at 95. It's all... Now you want to know I'm going to have to go look. Hang on one second. I'll tell you what, what brand it is. You get it at Aldi. They have peach... Pineapple, blueberry, and strawberry, and it's Pacific Fruit Vineyard. It's this stuff. And yeah, I bought more than one bottle. <laughs> it's only $3.99. I want to say it's like free $99, but it's not. It's $3.99, which is technically a really cheap bottle of wine, but you don't get the... Maybe it's my Thrive. You, you don't get the hangover from drinking a cheap bottle of wine. Come outside so I can shut the door. And now I'm reading again. Okay, I'm going to let you all go because I'm going to continue to read and get distracted and try and answer questions. And my husband just texted and said he was on the way home, so I should probably cook him dinner. I've been waiting for him to say, I'm on my way home. I am. I'm only like um, 45 minutes from Asheville. Much closer to North Carolina. I'm turning on the grill. That's something I've taught myself to do. I'm super excited. I've taught myself to grill. My Nicholas, my oldest, could tell you that I used to turn. I tried to grill a couple times and I turned it into hockey pucks. And since we moved, I have taught myself how to grill and not burn everything. Which is a win for me. I need two hands to do this. Hang on, let me put you down for just a second. I have to push the ignite button and turn it on. Okay, we're good now. So I grill a lot now because it's... I don't want to make the house hot. So... Anyways, oh, I made them. Aren't they pretty? I love butterflies, and I went to Hobby Lobby, and I made them. See? Victoria, I tried, like, um, I want to say it was, like, mm, five or six years ago. I tried on a gas grill. I, I drink Boone's Farm, too, Francis, but, like, I really like this Pacific Vineyard. Anyways, I tried, like... Madison was a baby, so like eight years ago. I'm not kidding. We have pictures. I'll have to post them. I'll have to ask Nicholas for them. Yes, my shirt does say Noel. It's our Thrive Palooza shirt from our last year's convention. Um, but I tried like eight years ago, 
and it was bad. Like, we're talking, like, ashes, hockey pucks, burnt it. Never tried again. I would be happy. Christy, you might get me to grill for you tomorrow. <laughs> Right now, we're just doing a taco nacho bar for the birthday party, but for the birthday girl, and I get to see you tomorrow. I'm super excited. All right. Steven, are you still at... Why are you watching me? Are you still at Sam's? <laughs> they must be back home. All right. I'm going to let you all go and cook my husband dinner before he gets home. I already fed the kids, but he's on a specific diet, so... I'm going to cook what he's having for dinner, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Be kind.